And as we've turned our eyes skyward for the SpaceX launch that took civilians up into space on their own for the first time, we wanted to take a moment to ponder the many wonders of the universe. A lot of people have been doing this lately with the renewed focus on space travel. So joining me now is National Geographic science writer Michael Greshko. He is the author of the new article, The Small Wonders, Unlocking Secrets of the Solar System. It's part of National Geographic's September 2021 issue that's taking a look at the many mysteries of our solar system. Michael, thank you for joining me. We know that you write the recent scientific advancements in astronomy are giving our scientists an unprecedented understanding of space. So what are some of these strange new things that we're able to see in the universe for the first time now? Well, first, Trevor, thank you so much for uh, having me. Uh, the advancements in astronomy have been you know, extraordinary in just the last couple of decades. Um, we have been able to peer farther into the universe and further back into the universe's past than ever before. We've been able to see really extraordinary things, such as you know the first gravitational waves, these ripples in space-time, wow. uh, the first images of a black hole silhouette. But closer to home, we're also making so many discoveries. As of right now, there's slightly more than 1.1 million known objects in the solar system. There's likely trillions more, but those are the ones we've seen, we observe. We've seen 90% of those for the first time since 2000. Oh, wow. And in the next decade, we're gonna be adding six million more to that. And a lot of that's coming on the small end of things, small asteroids, comets, but these little worlds, even just those hundreds of feet wide, can tell us so much about the origins of the solar system and how it changed to where we find it today. You talked about how this can reveal all sorts of information about our origins. What are we learning and how are we learning it that way? Yeah, that's a great question. I mean, the, the we can learn so much about how our star, the sun, and how our solar system fits in among the thousands of star systems with exoplanets. Um, at this point in time, we've identified more than 4,500 uh, planets orbiting other stars, you know, within the Milky Way. Um, you know, so we can really start to get a sense of how our home compares to all of the other planetary systems in the galaxy that we can see. And one really important way of doing that is by studying and exploring and sampling asteroids and comets and a lot of these smaller bodies. Because unlike Earth, which has a very active geology, uh, and unlike the, the other planets, these smaller pieces are more pristine. They've gone through less geologic activity. And so by visiting them and sampling them and studying them, we can actually get a really good sense of what the chemistry of the infant solar system was like four and a half billion years ago. Space is the great unknown. As fascinating as it is, it also is equally terrifying. Are you finding anything with potentially sinister implications, anything dangerous, anything we need to be worried about? The, uh, it is in society's interest that we look for and assess low probability events that could be really bad if they happened. And one of those is asteroid impacts. Um, as of right now, there are no sort of dino killer asteroids on the menu. Astronomers feel really confident that they've cataloged pretty much all the near-Earth asteroids that are that big. But there are you know, thousands more that still need to be discovered. We're not making all these discoveries, obviously, from just staring at a telescope 24 hours a day. Mm -hmm. You talk about in your article, there are a lot of daring missions in order to make these modern discoveries. Can you tell us a little bit about, a little bit about what these operations entail? Absolutely. So um, there have been, in recent years, a number of really exciting robotic missions to a variety of objects, including near-Earth asteroids that are potentially hazardous including uh, comets. Um, you know, in the past decade, we've, you know, we've done sample return missions at two different asteroids. Um, the European Space Agency got into orbit around an asteroid, which is the first time anybody's ever done that. Um, we've been able to do flyby missions. Uh, you know, NASA's New Horizons mission did the farthest flyby ever performed well past Pluto. 
um, of an object uh, called Erikal. So these missions take so much time. They take so much planning, um, often just for maybe a few seconds of collecting a sample or um, a few hours of flying by an object. Not everybody can afford to go up to space right now. If you are among those, adults, children's, children alike, National Geographic, we know, has a now, they have an interactive map for space exploration. Can you tell us some of the resources that available are, are available for people who are at home who are trying to learn more about the solar system without having to befriend a billionaire? <laughs> um, well, absolutely, yes. National Geographic um, has, you know, in, in its print magazine, um, oh, it's always over here. Um, <laughs> Um, in his print magazine, uh, we have a full we have a full supplement, um, really rich uh, information. We have an online interactive. We've got um, all sorts of resources on our website for people who are curious, want to learn more about the solar system. We're living in a really exciting time right now, in a fast changing uh, era of discovery. We've come a long way from just debating whether Pluto was a planet. Michael Greshko of National Geographic. <laughs> Michael, we appreciate your time. Thanks so much for your insights. Yeah, thanks so much for having me, Trevor. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.